all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you i hope my voice is coming good and clear please share the video with your friends and don't forget to download as soon as we finish now as many requested that we make uh, videos uh, short videos so that it's easy to translate and to share with the friends especially from those who have uh, slow internet today our topic is about uh, karate you know uh, there's many stories happening to me i don't like to share them with public because if i share them people they might say i'm lying as an example, yesterday I was walking down street, la 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 la, and there is seven genie, seven genie from the ball. They came in my face, and they wanted to take my wallet. Now they don't know that my wallet is empty, <laughs> but anyway, so they said, "Give me your wallet." I said to them, "Ching ho, -ho and I swear by Allah, I swear by Allah. All the genie, I did beat them as never before. And until now, there's many of them, their hands is broken, and even there's some missing fingers. True story. Now, if I go and I say this story, who is a Muslim when I believe me? Nobody. I mean, why? Uh, do I need... <laughs> you see, if you say to me, you need witnesses, okay, well, it makes sense. You need witnesses, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, now I can get witnesses now. Any, but anyway, anyway, but I, I, brothers, brother and sister. All of us, we heard about a person who named it brutally, and brutally he played karate. King Ho he, he. and this is why actually one of my teeth is broken, and this one when I speak, a lot of rain comes from my mouth because I used to fight against brutally because he's a kafir. And the truth is. That Brutley himself, he don't play karate. Actually, he was trying to impose the prophet skills because the prophet was playing karate. And this is the reference. The prophet said, last night, last night, last Christmas, I gave you my heart. Last night, I mean, this is a fresh news. This is just a big demon. How big? How big, how big? He's a big demon. <laughs> Look what happened in here. He's a big demon. Is that a small one? They cannot, please. I mean, we have, we have to be serious. This is a big demon. A big demon, a brother and sister. A big demon. It's not a small demon. It's a big demon. Because the prophet will not find a small demon. He will fight only big... By the way, Muslims don't believe in demon. This is a false translation. It's a genie. Remember, don't mix. This is stupid translation. Many Christians, they think Muslims, they believe in demon. Genie is not a demon. Genie is a creature who even have sex with women in Islam. So don't mix. This is false. So it's a big genie. Actually, it says Afrit. Afrit. What Afrit? Afrit, supposedly, is a genie who is bold, you know, and he have no hair, supposedly, and he's so big, he's so huge. So now look what happened. A genie from the jinn, he's a freak, he's a big one. He came to me and he wanted to interrupt my prayer. So, or said something similar. Uh -huh. And then, but Allah enabled me, overpower him. I wanted to fasten him to one of the pillars of the mosque. Okay, what happened? So that all of you, you can see him. Man, that's a good idea. Finally, Muhammad, he is going to show us one of the miracles he did. He did beat the genie. He is going to fasten the, the genie in the column of the mosque. But then in the morning, so you can see him in the morning. But then I remembered the statement of my brother Solomon. Like what? Like now you remember? Uh, let us see him first. Take a selfie. <laughs> a brother and sister prophet muhammad do not need witnesses for anything and he did tie you know he he, he did beat the genie he did beat him and he's afrit I, I don't know if i can show you the afrit how the afrit look like you know afrit or minute jinn Afrit is something really look horrible, you know. Oh. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find you Afrit. Afrit. Uh, the Muslim they draw Afrit in many ways. Let us see if we can find you Afrit. 
from one of the Islamic movies so you can see what I've read. Up. Yeah, Afrit is like this, but uh, let me see if I can find the. I'm just looking. Anyway, this is, must be a true story. We have to remember Muhammad, he never says something. And Muhammad, you see, the Muslims do not need witnesses. They do not need witnesses for Muhammad's stories. Whatever Muhammad he says, true story. And he did overcome big, big genie, his big genie, not like one centimeter tall. You know, is it Muhammad? He said that genie, he sleep in your shaitan, he sleep in your nose, and shaitan is an easy, is a, is a genie. And this is how how big the how big the genie can be from shaitan. Shaitan, he jump in your mouth. I cannot, uh, uh, I cannot find the afrit in the pictures, sadly. Uh, because they used to have them in old movies in Islamic, like in Ramadan when I was a kid. They used to have those movies. Let me see. al Afrit. Yeah, I cannot find really anything. It's like, you know, it's like, here we go, here we go. We found the Afrit. <laughs> I don't know, they are getting this from a movie or something, I don't know. This is the Afrit. This is like, it's, it's, it's like a closed, but it's not exactly. It's someone like he is so big and he is bold and he have like weird look and whatever, you know? So Afrit is huge, big. He even can carry the throne. It's mentioned in the Quran that the Afrit, he told Solomon, if you want, I can go in the speed of light. Before you blink your eyes, even I can bring you the throne of, of, of Sheba. All the way from Yemen. This is how, how powerful he is. Afrit. Yet Muhammad, brother. He did beat the Afrit. So what I'm thinking, thinking about, I was like, did Bruce Lee learn from Prophet Muhammad? I'm, I'm just trying to inspire the Muslims. I mean, why the Muslims don't make videos about how Bruce Lee trying to steal the technique of a Prophet Muhammad? Hmm? And he, look, he wanted to uh, tie him up to the column so we can see him in the morning. But then he remember what Suleiman he said. What does it have to do with this? Okay, remember what Suleiman he said. Okay, uh, tie him up. He's a bad person anyway. Let us see him and then let him go in the morning. So brother and sisters, if I come to the Muslims and I say yesterday I did tie a genie to the column of my house, how many how many Muslims will make a video making fun of me? <laughs> how many Muslims will uh, why you don't take a picture? Why uh, show us a uh, proof? But the Prophet Muhammad do not need witnesses, brothers and sisters. I wanted to tie him up. I wanted. <laughs> this is how the genie love you know if you go in the quran actually if we go here in the quran you will see the word afrit appear in the quran which is one of the fairy tales which muhammad copied from the legions of the jews for he is a fraud what the heck is that Afrit, he's Afrit. This is not a normal genie. He's a big, big, big genie. He's like one billion meter up, big, huge. Afrit, he said to Suleiman. Suleiman, he was listening to the bird. The bird, he told him, give him a report. The bird, he worked for CIA of Suleiman. He told him, I saw a woman who have no hair in her legs, and she is sexy, and you know it, and she is in the top of a throne, and her throne is so high, made from gold, blah blah blah. Then genie, he said to him. The same genie, I think. This is the same genie of, of, of Suleiman. That's why I remember. He said, the Afrit said of the jinn, I will bring it to thee before thou rise the council. Before before even you stand up. Look how, like, like that fast. Before even you stand up, I can bring you the throne of... And Muhammad, he did beat this Afrit. How powerful this prophet is. I'm so proud of you. And you notice all of us Arab, we have stories like this. All of us, we beat everybody, uh, <clears throat> but there's no witnesses. As an example, we beat Israel every day. The coward, the Israeli, the, the, Arena, the American. We beat the American. You know, we beat everybody, but there's no witnesses. You know, but who need witnesses these days? I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, 
So, uh, <clears throat> oh boy. So I wanted to share this uh, with you so you can appreciate that the Kung Fu, obviously, is created by Prophet Muhammad, which obviously he learned from uh, Prophet Moses. Because if you remember, uh, Moses, he did beat uh, uh, an angel who tried to take uh, <clears throat> uh, his, uh, his life. Uh, you know, which is a true. I mean, uh, uh, <clears throat> let us see. Yeah, that's faster. Here we go. If you remember when, when the, the angel of death, he came to take the life of Moses. Moses, he was playing karate too. And what he did, Musa, is an example for any angel in the future to play with the Jews. So look what happened. When, when he came to him, the guy, and his name is Musa, Moshe, you know, he gave him uh, a, a blue in the eye. Of, in the eye of the angel. And he knocked the eye of the angel out. I, 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 will, I will pay $5 to be there just to watch and take a video of it. Imagine how many people will watch this. And the angel went back to Allah. Okay, what happened? And then he said to him, <laughs> You sent me. You sent me to your servant, Moshe, who does not like to die. And he knocked out my eye. Allah restored his eye. Like, come here, come here. Okay, open your eye. Okay, he hit him again in his face and he put the eye back. And then Allah, he restored his eye and he sent him back to, to, to Moshe and he told him, uh, okay, how long you want to live, uh, Moshe? Uh, tell him, okay, hit the, the, the skin of the ox and whatever hair under your skin, you will live. <laughs> true story. <laughs> this is a true story. <laughs> I, would, I was there. I was there. I mean, you, hello? First of all, there's many reasons to believe in the story. First of all, Musa is a Jew, and we know that the Jews are very powerful. Very, very powerful, brother and sister. And Prophet Muhammad, obviously, he is more powerful than Musa, because you remember that Muhammad is the best of the Prophet. So obviously, he is best in knowledge, he is best in karate, in karafu, in anything, even in sexual uh, activities. How in the world we don't, I, I don't know why somebody, until now he see this, he don't convert to Islam. The brothers and sisters, I'm not going to stay long with you, but just I want to share with you that the prophet, obviously, he is very powerful. He play karate, if you are in favor of karate, or karate, karate, whatever, it's a uh, karaku, karaoke, whatever it is. Uh, karaoke is the Quran. You know, I saw a video of Muslims inviting Christians to the masjid, to the mosque. And they play for them a Quran with a nice voice. You know, my friend, if the if the guy he have a nice voice does not does not mean the Quran is nice. The Quran is an ugly book. What about we translate the meaning and see so we can laugh? And here we go. This is the prophet. They are proud about him, telling us Hokas stories, lies that he overcome a genie, and he wanted to tie him up to the column. As I know, Muhammad, he said in different stories that genies are invisible. They can go anywhere. They can even even through the walls. So how you can tie him up? They change their shape. How you can tie up somebody? His shape, his shape is a changeable, which means his size can change. So if I tie you up now and you are in this size, you shrink yourself and you will be free. So isn't it obvious, you Muslims, Muhammadan, that Muhammad is fooling you? Why we don't have a brain or why we don't want to use it? That is the question. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you like to take any kind of a class to learn karate, please register in the classroom of a prophet of Allah, for he is the best knowing and the best in fighting karate. And by the way, the prophet, he used to do those fingers, you know, this is why he, but the prophet, he have a method of one finger. You know, he put his finger, like one finger in the, like Bruce Lee, he used two fingers because he's a kafir, you know. Muhammad, because he's not a kafir, he used one finger. So like he put one finger in your, uh, in your eyes. Unbelievable. So 
I'm really proud about Prophet Muhammad and I'm absolutely, I believe he's a true prophet and all this story is proven and there is witnesses. And there is no need for witnesses actually because Muhammad alone is equal to a billion human beings. Right? <clears throat> uh, by the way, I made a video, just posted it in Patreon. You can go and grab it from there. Actually, it's in mind. You can go to mind and you can get that video. I did not post it on YouTube because they will flag it. They will take it down. You know, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> karate. <laughs> I love you all. I miss you all. Uh, 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 I hope tomorrow we will go live on air for a longer time. But, you know, we are just making short videos for those who they complain from long videos. They cannot download them. And it's very hard to translate long video. And I agree for those brothers who they are translating to uh, Indonesian, uh, whatever language, they are doing a great job. And really, I appreciate them. But still, as long as you did not learn how to beat the genie like Prophet Muhammad, I don't appreciate you. From now on, anyone who don't join a class of karaoke, Islamic class of karaoke, to learn from Prophet Muhammad, you are not welcome here. You have to join the class of karaoke so you can be, um, actually you might be qualified to be a prophet because obviously to be a prophet you have to be a karaoke person or karaoke in the best scenario. <laughs> truly, truly Muhammad is a prophet and no doubt about that. Thank you very much for being here. See you tomorrow soon. And uh, if you have any topic to suggest for me, let me know. And if you are a Muslim, be proud. If I'm you, I would be so proud. Look at this. I mean, I, now I know why Shakespeare, by the way, Shakespeare, he is a Muslim. Because this, look at his name, Sheikh Isper. Hello. <laughs> this was Al-Qazafi. He said in a speech in Libya, he said, Sheikh Isper, he's a Muslim. His real name is Sheikh Isper. The English, they changed his name. So Shakespeare, he said, or Shakespeare, to be or not to be is the question. And here I see Muhammad is saying to himself after they beat this genie, to be or not to be, to be or not to be. Like he, he got the genie now, he's sitting in the top of him. huh? And now tie him, not to tie him, tie him, and not to tie him. And the genie says, please release me for the, for the sake of Allah, Shen, release me. The prophet, tie him up or not tie him up. Let the Muslim see him tomorrow or not let the Muslim to see him tomorrow. And then Muhammad, you remember, he needed to go to the bathroom. So he went back and he came, he found the genie is gone. And now he is using excuse saying, I released him. Come on, Muhammad. You made a mistake. He went to the bathroom and he thought the genie would stay in his place. And here we go. Bingo. The genie is gone. Genie in the ball. Nice to meet you. Thank you, everybody. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we got Muhammad busted every day. Take care.